Hello ladies and gentlemen, viewers and subscribers all over the world. This is Okute Daily Talk bringing to you this broadcast. Remember, I still remain your one and only, that talkative that has never rested until my people hear the news on daily basis. Okute Daily Talk is where the truth is the business of the day. We are will speak to you the undiluted truth about things of life, about the politicians and never do well uh, psychophants we have in our government houses, about the, 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 the morons that have no moral and uh, taking faculty to move the country forward. And that is the main reason why Biafra must be awarded to us. So without not taking much of your time, please, if you are with me, remember, you need to subscribe to my channel, like any of my content, share them to your family, to your pals, your colleagues in the office, we are a student, share it to your uh, schoolmates. And make sure you comment on any of my uh, content. To let me know what you feel about any broadcast that I have done. So please, my people, grab your popcorn, Tighten your seatbelt or your belt. We are about to move now. Let's take the headlines as usual. IPOP remains a non-violent self-determination movement. Of course, they know this and that is why they keep blackmailing IPOP on daily basis. Police arrest pastor two others over ritual killings in Ogun State. Governor University Real to allegations of staff raping female students. At least 17 died in Abuja Road crash. May all the souls of those people who lost their lives rest in the bosom of the Lord. Now terrorists demand new Nara notes as ransom payment for victims, according to this net today's editors news on Vanguard, Daily Trust, Sun newspaper, and also Guardian, including NigerNews.com. So let us take our first headline news and uh, we we'll expand, share, and narrate, and uh, say our mind, and also move to other news that we have at hand. This is in line. With the consistent uh, this, the association, public sen uh, sensitization campaign of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPO, for many form of criminality or government sponsored criminals, hired to give the Biafran people and the world a wrong impression about IPO. But this will continue to fail. Family Writers Press International. A solid media outfit of this Biafra restoration struggle wishes to reiterate that IPOP remains a non-violent movement, hence cannot be a thorn in the flesh to the people and the land of Biafra. Yes, and this is what I keep saying, this is what I keep hammering all the time. Biafra, Biafra, Biafra. Biafra can never be associated with anything criminality. Biafrans, they don't kill. Biafrans love one another. Biafrans don't go about destroying people's livelihoods. If uh, Biafra is a, a kind of a organization or association that deals on all this, Biafrans cannot be scattered almost all over the world. When I mean all over the world, I don't mean all over Nigeria, I mean all over the world. A place whereby any other citizen from any country or any other citizen or any other uh, human being from uh, any region uh, of Nigeria, okay? not from the eastern region, can never survive. Biafrans will go there and make things happen. So we are known by our productivity. We are known by our gener generosity. We are known by our love. We love, we share to one another. Anywhere we go, we embrace love. We expand there. We multiply. And we do what we invest in those areas. The Biafrans are the only people in the globe in the history of black race 
in the history of black race that will ever leave a place the same way they made that place. No, 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 no. It is never done. It is never a Biafra that visited that area. A Biafra by nature, by belt, enters a place, a bush, a forest, and that forest becomes an estate. That is how, that is what Biafra is known for. That is what Biafrans are known for. Not uh, attaching Biafrans with uh, anything that happens on the street of Nigeria. The federal government will know any single investigation. All they will say is Biafrans. I'm still waiting the day somebody will die in Asarok. And they will call Biafrans that they are the one that killed that person. Because it must surely happen. With the red they are going. Eh? With the red they are going because their brain now is no more functioning. If brain, their brain is functioning, they could have thought that a cheap uh, black male can never tarnish the image of their friends. Not before the international community. It can never be done. And it can, it can never be so. So with all these uh, cheap black male of every day, uh, black, young, black friends have done this, black friends have done that. Uh, their friends are the ones that uh, attack uh, the Abuja uh, Kaduna train. Their friends are the ones that instigate the, 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 the Lekki uh, uh, massacre or all, all, all lakey pro, uh, protesters everything in nigeria that happens now uh, a woman have miscarriage the federal government and the east uh, fake uh, security personnel will mount on the podium all the biafra is the cause of it a woman went to hospital and the doctor said the woman need to de deliver by deliver by cs they will call biafrans biafrans are not known by all those nonsense so the, the earlier that the zoological republic of nigeria know this the better for each and every one of us so please let us continue with our news ipop remains the face of peaceful agitation for freedom in this 21st century and uh, restoring the sovereign state of biafra is the single goal of each and every one in the biafra land after our fathers failed to attain that outstanding goal in the biafran appropriate but inaccurately articulated le, uh, revolutionary resistance of uh, 1967 to 1970. IPOP, in a well-determined manner, chooses a non-violent approach to, unfa to unfailingly realizing this objective of Biafra restoration. This approach, though, has caused the movement some unimaginable loses of thousands of innocent lives and properties and still counting because our our detractors think that killing and intimidation will in some way shake their friends resolve to exit the British uh, contraception they, 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 and restore our uh, God-given heritage which is the Republic of Biafra. The Nigerian government and their neo-colonial friends uh, have uh, further unleashed their evil plans to annihilate our people and create a very insecure atmos atmosphere in our land with their criminal agents under the cloak of being Biafra agitators. These paid agents are the ones that give the murderous Nigerian security operatives the grounds to move in and massacre indigenous uh, Biafrans in remote uh, Biafran villages and communities, claiming they are after the criminals. That is the problem we are facing in the Biafra land. IPOB was divinely instituted to restore hope and succor to a people that have seen nothing but misery, pain, and death. Since over a century now, the formation of Eastern Security Networks, ESN, was all part of the grand plan to restore peace and tranquility in Biafra land. Defend her from marauding, flani, terrorists, and all forms of crimes and unrest. IPOB resolved to restore Biafra through a peaceful uh, trans transitional process, that is referendum, remains on course, but the movement will not either, will not either or both stake and non-stake actors uh, degenerate Biafra, Biafra land into a den of crime for their own selfish benefits. IPOV has been clamoring the need for the world to understand the pain of the Biafran people and grant the request of a referendum to the indigenous people living in this geo 
geographical space. For years, the movements have uh, conducted peaceful protests in many countries of the world and have continued, and have continued to do so. I have asked the United Nations to uphold their laws and discharge their duty towards the people of Biafra, stressing that our people, being law-abiding and responsible, are ready to exercise their rights to live with dignity and respect among us other races on the earth. And thankfully, there has been applauded success. Biafran oppressors being environs of a success owing to consistency, re uh, resoluteness, and God Almighty on his people's side. Vow to how the Biafrans march to freedom. They have unleashed all manner of provocations to law I pop into avoidable mistake, but the children of the Most High are smarter and do understand the trend talent more than they do. Recruited agent provo for provocators that we are paid to destroy IPOP and implicate Martin Nam the Canon has failed and will continue to fail till the end time. Because IPOP will not allow them blackmail her or her leader who is still illegally detained. FWPI is audibly adding voice to make it crystal clear to individuals or groups in Biafra land and beyond that IPOP is not against anybody who is truly agitating for Biafra. But we will not tolerate any form of criminality in Biafra land intended at helping the BS media and corrupt uh, government to blackmail Martin Namdekano, IPOP, and ESN. The Nigerian government should stop. Uh, Rigmoraling the and the obey subsisting subsisting uh, court orders that have discharged, acquitted, and mandated the release of Mazen Nam the Kano from illegal detention. Let a date for referendum be fixed. And that is all we are going to tell the Zoological Republic of Biafra, the, sorry, the Zoological Republic of Nigeria, who in, uh, who all our intention is to blackmail, kill, mom. And destroy our land simply because we are ag agitating for what belongs to us for what rightfully be belongs to us in our own country we have been treated as a second class citizen or not even second class maybe a third class citizens simply because we said that we are no longer enjoying the 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 the, 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 the system of government they are playing in their uh, their zoological republic of nigeria so we want our freedom and we want a referendum that will guide us as the Biafrans and we do our own things, let them do their own things as Nigerians. We are not Nigerians, we are Biafrans. And Biafra land we know peace very soon, whether they like it or not. Police arrest pastor, two others over ritual killings in Ogun State. Let us go straight into this news. A self proclaimed pastor has been arrested in Ogun State for alleged Ritual killing involvement. Pastor Felix Ajadi, Ajadi and two other accomplices were said to have abducted the 39 year old victim, Adekulemu Iwa, and killed him for ritual. Reports obtained by OkuteNews.com confirm that the incidents happened in the Owede area of Ogun State. Given details of the event, the state police, the state uh, command of the Nigerian police force said the deceased was lured to his untimely death by his bosom friend, who confessed that Pastor Ajadi introduced him to the witch doctor who supervised the killing. The police said the victim's body was disembarked dis 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 by the suspect for a ritual purpose. Noting that a manhunt had been declared for the witch doctor who requested for the victim and then supervised his killings. The two other suspects in the heinous act are Idowu Ebe and Clement Adenihi. Both have been arrested following a report lodged at the Wede Yewa Divisional Headquarters on November 15 by Uluwasei Adekunle, the victim's elder brother who reported that his, his uh, younger brother left home on November 10 and didn't return since then. In his report, the Ogu 
State Police Public Relations Officer, SP Abimbola Oyeyemi, said, Upon the report, Divisional Police Officer Uwede Yewa Division, CSP Mohamed S. Baba, deterred his crack detective to unravel the mystery behind the sudden disappearance of the young man. During their investigation, it was discovered that Idowu Ebel was the person who came to pick the missing man from his house on that fateful day. You see, you see how uh, to help your own. See how God are punishing him. He want to love somebody for something, and you go to his house to pick him. Whereby neighbors and other relatives and other by bypassers and other uh, 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 etc. We see you. That is. Uh, your cop have fooled. We have said upon the discovery, Ebe was traced and arrested. The suspect, according to the police, Mount Peace has confirmed that the victim, who happened to be his bosom friend, was lured, uh, okay, lured out by him and taken to his second uh, accomplice, claiming that then he is found, where he was killed and butchered to pieces. Child, there is God who... He confessed further that why Habalis introduced him to to him? Okay, why Habalis introduced to him by Pastor Felix Ajade requested for human head, heart, two hands, legs. He, he stated further that the Habalis, who is now at large, promised to pay him the sum of 200,000 naira for a whole human being. Hey, oh, bad government. You see where the bad government we are having, the poverty they have created. See where it is, 200,000 naira, which is not even up to $200. Or maybe 200 dollars and something. If he could get the listed human powers for him. He explained for that the Habalist paid 80,000 naira at advance payment with a promise to pay the balance of 120,000 or receiving the items. Money that is not even enough to start up a very good business. I mean, what can 200,000 naira do, do for you in this current Nigeria that we are we are living in. We are a bag of rice costs more than fifty thousand naira. And two hundred thousand naira self is not enough for you to I mean to balance well during this festive period. And you sold your bosom friend for just two hundred thousand, butchered him. Oh I mean human life was nothing again in Nigeria. Chai I weep for the poor. After collecting the advance payment, Idowu Ebel went to his bosom friend Moyewa Adekunle and asked him to escort him somewhere. Being a long-time friend, the victim who didn't uh, suspect any foul play followed him innocently. And he was taken to the farm of Clement Adeni where they killed him and disembarred his body. We me explain the suspect's confession. It was reported that the weed doctor had the head and heart of the victim cut off. The remaining parts were hurriedly buried in a shallow grave on the said farm. His confession led to the arrest of Clement Adeni and Pastor Felix Adebadi, while the herbalist, who was simply identified as Abel, aka Boko, has taken to flight. Here he said. Meanwhile, Commissioner of Police, CP Lanre Bankole, has ordered the immediate transfer of the suspect to the homicide division, homicide section of the State Criminal Investigation Department for this, this secret investigation. He also directed that the fleeing herbalist must be hunted for and brought to book. Che! Nigerians, why? Nigerians, I ask again, why? Well, let us proceed. That is what we have or what is what we get when you when you elected a morons and failed people who can who can never in this life succeed in anything to lead the nation this is where they have kept us terrorists demand new naira notes as ransom payment for victims some suspected terrorists who abducted four persons in the Kolo village of Zamfara state have reportedly demanded payment of their ransom in new naira notes <laughs> Okuda News gathered that the terrorists demanded 10 million naira and later reduced it to 5 million but insisted they would collect the old naira notes. President Mamamadu Bubu on Wednesday unveiled the new naira notes, but the new notes 
may not go into circulation until December 15, 2022. The terrorists, and, uh, however, insisted they would also keep the victims until the new Nara notes go into circulation and the ransom can be paid. The victim consists of a man, a woman, and two children. An indigent in the area where the kidnap occurred, Mohammed Ibrahim was quoted by Punch as saying, the villagers have been trying to raise the money to secure the self-release of the victims. These are the machineries they imported to deal with good luck. Is now their nightmare. They are now receiving their own payment in their own coin. My greatest anger in all these things that is happening in the north is that why can't this thing affect at least Buare and the Eru 5 because they have hands in what is happening in the north. Both north east, north west, north central. All the whole north. That is the machineries they imported from Chad, Mali, um, Niger, uh, Libya and the rest of them. They imported them and gave them AK-47 so that they would disrupt and rig the election of 2015 against good lord jonathan and they succeeded which are not fulfilling the promises or agreement they signed with all these hoodlums now they have turned the knots as their hub for business imagine now they have started kidnapping waiting for december 15 when the currency will be in circulation so that they will be paid in that same uh, 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 new, new currency note there was the essence of changing the notes if you cannot stop the insecurity you said you 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 want to change the the, the naira notes so that the 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 uh, uh, Boko Haram's or the bandits or the terrorists or the kidnappers who always demand for cash they will not do it. Now look at the the example of it. They demanded for the new naira notes when they were being told that the naira note will be circulate will be in circulation 15th of December this year, and they said the victims have to be with them until the time the naira will be in circulation. Tell me who is fooling who. Uh, Buhari and the so-called MFL and the other uh, cabals who initiated or bring this uh, idea of repenting the Naira. The victims, I mean the terrorists are now demanding for new Naira. They are not demanding for new Naira, no too. So let me see how this will solve the problem of insecurity in Nigeria or we solve the security of uh, the, the our bad uh, governors and the uh, legislative uh, in different offices holding uh, currency. It should not. Since the inception of this, since the, 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 the so called EFCC made announcement that uh, uh, they are waiting for the rich people now who will come and deposit a lot of money. But billions of naira have been deposited on daily basis, cash, not transfer. Nobody has been questioned, nobody has been arrested, nobody has been brought to book. They bring it out and they give them new Nara notes. They will pack it also and go and dump and the warehouse. And the economy will keep dying on daily basis. A week for this country called Nigeria. As we were trying to gather the money demanded by the authorities, they sent another message this morning that they would not collect old Nara notes. They said they would keep the abducted persons in their camps until the release of the new Nara notes in December, Ibrahim said. Attempt to confirm the development from the Zamfara State Police uh, Public Relations Officer SP Mohamed Shehu and the uh, State Commissioner for Information Ibrahim Dosara were not successful as at the press time. That is the problem we are having now over there in Zamfara. That the terrorists and the bandits and the kidnappers are now saying that they will have to pay them their ransom in the new Naira news. Anything less than that, they will not accept. Well, they are receiving their own payments in their own coin. That is a, a, a saying that, that goes this way. That what goes around comes around. So what do you have to say about this, boo-boo? Covering University reacts to allegations of staff raping female students. The management of Covering University has said it has launched an investigation following the allegations of rape against some, some of its staff. Okute News reports that a series of reports alleging the sexual molestation of female students of the institution surfaced on social media on Monday. The, the report shared uh, unverified experience of uh, people who have been sexually assaulted by officials of the university. The allegations targeted different staff members, from hall monitors to the medical center 
to security officials, even the chaplaincy. Speaking about the incident, the university alumni community said they got the complaint about a week ago and they contacted the school management. A statement by the executive council of the, of the association said why the story broke on Twitter on November 21, 2022. We had it since last week and we immediately entered the matter, spoke with them and helped them understand the issue and what they needed to do. The council noted that one of the people in the center of the allegations had been sacked. The name of the person was not given, reports BBC Pigeon. It, it said, as we have been speaking with the university management, we had that one of the people we, we had that one of the people who have been called out many times on social media appeared before the staff disciplinary committee a few weeks ago the management has terminated his employment the alumni committee has promised to continue meeting with the school management for more information on the matter according to them we are moving at least 17 die in abuja road crash may the souls of those people joy who died on this crash rest in the bosom of the lord may they find solace before the almighty at least 17 people died in, uh, on tuesday in fatal road accident in abuja okute news land reports made available to newsmen claim that the tragic incident involving a daf trailer with the registration number BAU 632XA and the Toyota bus with the registration number GME 201ZU happened this morning along the Kwale Abaji Expressway within the Federal Capital Territory. Fire passengers, according to the Federal Road Safety Corps command, command, command in the FCT. FCT survived the, the accident. Four sustained degrees of injuries while one escaped uninjured. A statement handed to newsmen by the FRSC spokesperson BC Kazim disclosed that the road crash was caused by the SS speeding and fatigue. Ugute News learned from the report that the emergency uh, rescue team of the corps concluded the rescue of the injured victims to Abaji General Hospital for immediate medical attention while the remains of the dead victims were deposited at the mortuary. Speaking on the cause of the crash, the acting court marshal Naudu Bio maintained that the drivers must avoid speeding as crash investigations conducted over the years have attributed to major causes of crash in Nigeria to excessive violation of the legal speed limits on all roads. Bill also revealed that the fatigue resulted from the driver's indulgence in a night-long trip without observing adequate rest within the driving period. The corps marshal retreated that this and many other factors necessitated the directive given by the federal government for the corps to commence sensitization and subsequently enforcement on the compulsory installation of the speed limit device. Bill further warned motorists to adhere strictly to low road traffic regulations, assuring the public that the cops will step up formidable operation activities that will bring this menace to an end. That is all we have for you, my listeners, my subscribers, and those ones who love what I'm doing. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, I want you to do that as soon as possible. Turn on the notification button, be the first to be notified each time we post something new on my channel or each time I go live. So my great people of Biafra, the lovers of freedom and the lovers of mankind, you people have had it all from the horse's mouth about the news I brought to us. And uh, I will be very, very happy if this news can go around the internet, share it on your Twitter page, your Facebook, your Instagram, and even your WhatsApp uh, uh, status. So that people will get to know about this news and also learn and they start some wisdom from it. Have a nice day. Until I come your way again, please remember, I say remain your one and only, Okute Daily Talk, from my own side. 
I'm signing out. Bye for now.